Hello, I'm author Jules Van Mill, and I'm delighted to be celebrating Booktopia's World Book Day celebration with you. If I had to choose just one book as my favourite, it would be Emily Bronte's Wuthering Heights. I was probably about 14 when I first read this amazing book, and it had a profound effect on me for several reasons. It really opened my eyes to love relationships, uh, the destructive relationship between uh, Catherine and Heathcliff and the other characters, and I guess relationships in general. I could really feel those winds whipping off the, uh, off the Yorkshire moors as Emily Bronte transported me to that 16th century farmhouse, which was the setting, which was Wuthering Heights. And I guess this book really fostered my love of the classics and particular historical fiction. I've gone back and read this book several times over my life, throughout my life, and each time as I've matured and experienced life, I've reflected on it in a different way. And I guess many of the themes in the book are just as relevant now as they were in 1847 when the book was first written. So for those reasons, my vote would go as my favourite book to Emily Bronte's Wuthering Heights. If I have one writing ritual or reading ritual, I suppose it would relate to the chair that I'm sitting in. I bought this big cane chair many years ago and it's travelled with me wherever I've lived. Um, currently it's inside because Sydney's experiencing such terrible weather. But usually of a morning I start my day with a coffee, I sit down in this chair outside, I gather my thoughts, I, I go through my diary, see what's coming up for that day or that week and often grab 20 minutes of reading time if I can. So one of my reading rituals is this trusty cane chair. One of the books I'm enjoying at the moment is Bad Ass Women Sheilas of Australian History by Eliza Riley. This gorgeous non-fiction book profiles a whole host of women that have really played an incredible part in our history, many of them we've never heard of before. Right from Mary Ann Bug in 1860, who was one of our, or the first female bush ranger, through to Deborah Laurie, who in 1980 became the very first woman to be granted a commercial a pilot's license for a commercial airline and was actually employed by ANSET after a very long battle. Brilliantly researched and written with humour leaping off the page, Riley has done an amazing job of bringing all sorts of women and their experiences to life. And the great thing about a non-fiction, of course, is you can pick it up at any chapter, open up and engage with the writer. So I'm thoroughly loving Sheila's, as I'm calling it. At the end of June this year, Pan Macmillan Australia will release my first adult fiction, A Remarkable Woman. Set in Melbourne in the 1950s, French woman Avril Montdedier has traveled from Paris and an apprenticeship at Dior to start a new life in Australia. She's a feminist and a non-conformist in a time when women were expected to marry, have children and be financially dependent on a man. Set against the backdrop of the booming fashion industry in Melbourne and a magnificent cattle property in Queensland, it will truly take a remarkable woman to find her way through a maze of social norms that she pushes back against to a happy place.